And a hilarious show about Christmas in a small town in Texas is coming to the stage thanks to the Kingsport Theater Guild. John Kaywood and Coley Owens are here with a preview of the show. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about a tuna Christmas. Yes, ma'am. That is the title of the show, yep. A Tuna Christmas. Uh, so, Coley, just tell me a little bit about the show. So, A Tuna Christmas <laughs> is a show about this little town in Texas called Tuna. And they have, Christmas is their big time of year. They do everything and they have this big yard display contest every year. So okay. everybody makes a yard display and there are people that come around and there's one person that's being the Christmas phantom that's going around and messing with everybody's oh. yard displays. So in this show, the interesting thing about this show in particular is it's, I play 12 characters and John plays 12 characters. So there's times the whole allure of the show is I'm usually on stage while he's back there changing and then he comes out and then I run back to change and we have about 10 seconds to change from man to woman, back to man, back and forth. It's really, it's a crazy show. You think it's it's funny on stage, but you should watch it backstage for all oh, the stuff that I'm happens backstage. Sure, <laughs> are there a times where you come on and maybe your wig isn't right or, or something well, like that? Well, we have, that? so I have two people dressing me and John has two people dressing him. That's just their job is to stay back there. So we run off our clothes that we made with um, Velcro uh -huh. and all stuff like that. So we can run off stage, rip it off, and then put stuff on and put it back on, throw our wigs on. And they need to, every time before we walk out, we say, look at us before we walk out, make sure my fly's not down, yeah. my wigs not crooked and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. And so, John, I'm sure playing several characters really puts your skills to the test, right? It is. It's very challenging. And when you go off stage, you have to really think about going into the next one. I catch myself being in the voice of the last one, even though I've changed costumes and right. I'm a totally different person. You really have to be conscious of what you're doing. Right. And I'm sure I didn't even think about, you know, the voice. We just think about the physical attributes, but, you know, the characters yeah. and kind of the traits that they have, that's something that you really have to think about as yeah. well. There's sometimes that we walk off stage and you might be changing into this character, but you're not even talking as this character. You're talking as another character. So we just kind of have to think in our minds, who am I? Who am I? It's identity crisis the whole time. So. I know you have someone that says, look at me. Do you say, okay, who am I playing yeah, again? Yeah, I mean, right? they'll watch it or they'll whisper in here, you're getting ready to go be Bertha. Yeah. Okay, great. And then you run yeah. off stage and then you got to do it. So it's kind of just remembering who you are when. Oh my gosh, that's great. So tell me uh, some of your favorite characters that you play. Oh. Ours, mine, I don't know about him, but we play these two waitresses named Helen and Inita, and we work in the local diner, and they are just a hot mess. They completely, they don't like their jobs, they're lazy, and so you see the whole, one of their whole days in the diner working in there, and all these people come to visit, their boy, they all have four boyfriends, like, they come visit, so it's just all the funny stuff that happens there. And, and you say the boyfriends come to visit, does that mean that you're dressed yes. as one of the boyfriends yeah. coming so, in? So I'll be, I'll be Helen, and he'll come in dressed as, um, uh, one of the boyfriends. Yeah, one of the boyfriends. Boyfriend number one. Boyfriend number one, yeah. So he comes in and he'll t I'll talk to him, and then he'll run back and change again, and then he'll come back in as Anita, and then I'll leave and come to Helen as another boyfriend. So it's just, it's one of those shows that's a lot of the entertainment in it is watching how do they change so quick and come back as this different person and making people believe that you are that person. So oh it's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. And it is a funny show. So you mm. expect there to be laughs when yes. you come. It, it is a side splitting. There are so many funny things. Our dressers will be on stage working, and then all of a sudden we'll hear backstage, hee hee. So we, it's hard to keep them. <laughs> from laughing backstage when it's us on stage so it's kind of crazy. <laughs> that is so fun. It sounds like a fun show that you oh, guys have been a part of. So yeah. is it kind of crazy when you're preparing for this to get everything down knowing that you have to play 12 characters? It is. The show is not only us but without our dressers I mean the show wouldn't be made without that. It's a whole team, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a whole team. We, uh, the show, we started with costumes day one because 90% of the show is changing costumes. So I'm we started, sure, the logistics Yeah, of before it. we even had the set, we would go off and say, okay, you're in charge of putting this on, you're in charge of taking this off, tying my shoes, putting my wig on. So it's just, it's the logistics of that that we get it down to a science that we can just run through it and not even think about oh, it anymore. wow. <laughs> well, it sounds like a lot of fun. A great way to bring the family together yep. and enjoy the holiday season, yep. yes. right? Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in. We thank always you. appreciate it. Make sure you check out the Kingsport Theater Guild's A Tuna Christmas. It's running November 9th through the 18th at the Kingsport Theater Guild in downtown Kingsport. Give them a call or check them out online for some more ticket information.